Hello people, welcome back to Schwarzenegger season and this film from 1982, Arnold's big, first big film, first proper film, Conan the Barbarian. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you and hear the lamentation of their women. I also have Conan the Destroyer, so I'll put a poster up somewhere me holding up the wrong film but Conan the Barbarian I know nothing of the source material Bob knows about the source material but I don't don't know not a clue no idea never will so anything that's changed doesn't bother me but we all know Conan I would imagine at least from this film um, the film opens up with um, Conan's village gets raided by this snake cult led by Thulsa Doom. Um, who is, I want to say a young, but I don't know how old he is in this, um, James Earl Jones. They kill lots of people. Dogs kill Conan's father. Thulsa Doom beheads his mother as she's holding his hand and you just see the head drop slowly. Um, all, all the children are taken to be slaves, taken to the wheel of pain. Big giant wheel, which they push in a circle. And this apparently makes a young kid the size of Arnold. Now, I'm not sure that pushing something would make you grow up to be the size that Arnold is, but we go with it. Then he goes in um, gladiator fights and all that kind of stuff, gets set free and goes off to get revenge. As he says later on in the film towards the end, Crumb, grant me revenge. If you do not listen, then the hell with you. Another one of Arnold's lines to a lot of his films. The hell with you. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you? Along the way, he meets various people. He meets a witch. He meets a wizard. He meets an archer slash thief. And he meets Valeria, played by Sandal Bergman. Um, a six-foot bird who I thought would have had more of an impact after this film. I just thought she'd have been, you know, today she'd probably have her own spin-off TV show somewhere. Um, and it ends, it culminates in a rather nice battle. Um, and when this film's finished, I smile, I'm happy. And I think I've just had a rather enjoyable two hours watching Conan. Now... If Conan was a real person, you could see it being the shape of Arnold and how he sounds. Just this is what a Conan person would look like. Um, the action, I enjoy it. Lots of swords and stabbing and slicing and cutting. Quite a few beheadings. And when someone does get stabbed, you see plenty of nice, rich, bright red blood, which is always fun to see. Um... As I say, James Earl Jones isn't in it a great deal, but when he is in it, um, just close your eyes and, yeah, you're hearing Darth Vader. Um, and at one point, he turns into a snake. You actually see him when Arnold and his crew are coming into his building, they're killing other people, skulking around. And James Earl Jones is sitting in his throne, and you see him. His face starts to change into a snake. His hands disappear. And the next thing, there's a lizard sitting in the the seat where James Earl Jones is. And then he slithers off. And I'm thinking, because then, like, ten minutes later, he comes back. He's just, oh, there's James Earl Jones again. I'm like, why Why did you turn into a snake? What? What was... What was the, the point of it exactly? But all I can think of is he changed into a snake so he could slither into one of his holes and escape being killed then and there. There's also another big-ass snake in this, which looked quite impressive. 
It looked quite impressive for its time and it's for its budget. It looked it looked pretty good. Um, and it's not as action packed as I remember it being, even though I never thought it being full of action. I think the sequel is more action, but this film has a it's the setting is great. It's like in the middle of nowhere in this this Hiberian or Hyborian age. Um, it's got great cinematography. It's got great settings, great landscapes. You you've got James Earl Jones' Mountain of Power. That's that's so eighties. The Mountain of Power, you know, and it's just it's aesthetically pleasing. But I would say the score takes maybe eighty percent of what I'm about to say, and then with some visuals and some of the things they talk about Arnold's talking to his new his new buddy and talking about the gods and this guy's got his gods is the god of the four winds and Arnold says Crumb laughs at your four winds and it's just that talk of what they believe in and some of the visuals as in mostly the music it felt this time around that it it felt a very spiritual film um, some great music, really good. Just, I just felt this is, this is less action than I remember, but more spiritual than I remember. And with this film, today I'd probably think what a load of shit that is, but with this I just think I have no problem with that. Um, and I, I haven't always liked Conan. I thought Conan to be a little bit shit in the past. Arnold hasn't got his funny bone. Ars um, Arnold doesn't crack any jokes, doesn't say any one-liners, but he's not meant to. You know, it, I, I didn't understand that at one stage. It was a little bit dull, a little bit boring. No, it's not. It's not, and I'm looking at Conan the Destroyer, and it looks like Grace Jones is in it. I don't remember that. I remember Conan the Barbarian, Red Sonja, but not the Destroyer. But anyway, Conan the Barbarian. A, a very, very enjoyable film. And I I very much enjoy it and come back to it more than I ever thought I would. So that's Conan. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.